What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elliot if you are new here. So in today's video, I have a very exciting product to test out and that is this six in one curling wand which you can pick up on Amazon. So I have actually never tried one of these before. I have this really old like ancient curling iron that is actually like the foot of it is broken so it like has to awkwardly lay on its side and I'm always afraid it's like burned down the house. And then I have my regular little curling wand that I use to sometimes touch up my hair when it's curly. So I'm actually really excited to try one that can combine all of those and more. So like I said, this has six different attachments. You have a 10 millimeter, a 19 millimeter, a 9 to 18 millimeter, so it is like it gets narrower as it goes down, 25 millimeter, 19 to 25 millimeter, and a 32 millimeter. So, and this is the brand Bestope. And let's just go ahead and open it up and see what we're working with. So you get a little glove. I don't usually use these, but you know, if you're someone who burns yourself a lot, you might need it. So this is what it looks like. And this is obviously an American plug, but I have an adapter. So I have a lot of hair tools that are American. And so it looks like there's a couple settings on here. You have obviously zero is off. One, which I'm guessing is like medium heat and two would be like moderate to hot. So here are all the six interchangeable heads and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using maybe like these three on my straight hair today and then these three on my naturally curly hair tomorrow so you can kind of see how you can use it for straight or curly hair. So I think these will be good just to give like kind of like a loose beach wave with just some like visual interest. The curls will be to some different sizes. And then obviously my natural hair is very curly, so I think these will be good to touch up all of those different curl patterns that I have. So this is my hair as I woke up this morning. It is a little bit wavy. It is just so humid here that it's impossible to get my hair to be perfectly straight. So apologies, but we will still get some great curls. All right, so I have it plugged in here and it looks like it is working. The only thing that I would say that would make this even better is if this tool had like a little stand, but maybe it's once you plug these in, there's a piece that stands. Um, I don't know. So we're gonna start with the largest wand here and let's see how we put this in. Oh, okay, that's pretty easy. So there's an unlock. So to unlock, it's this way and then you can pull it out and then to lock, you just twist it and it shows the little lock and unlock here. So we're gonna put that on to two. And yeah, I think the only thing that I would like critique as far as like design is it would be nice if there was like a little foot so when you lay it down, it won't potentially burn your table. Okay, so I'm just gonna basically like wing it because that's how I normally do my hair. And I just feel like I just wanna stay true to how I normally would do it. So I'm just gonna grab a section take the curling wand and just wrap it. And my hair curls pretty fast because my natural hair is curly, so I don't need to hold it for a long time, but the trick to maintaining the curl or keeping it from like falling out is while it's cooling, just hold it. So there you go. There's one big juicy curl for you. I think I'm gonna use this also on like these lower pieces. So what I like about this is if you just want some really big, like hassle-free curls, you can just grab this barrel because you can use a lot more hair with it, obviously. And I have this on the highest heat on two, so that might be a little hot for my hair, but oh, these are really nice curls. I really like that. And I'm gonna leave these pieces free for now because I am going to obviously use the other curlers on that. So let's do this side. So the back is basically going to be the bigger curls and then as you come forward, you are going to have smaller ones. So I'm actually going to swap the head of this out and that's actually really hot to touch like just this part that you twist so you actually do apparently need to wait a bit before you can change out the head 
You know what? I just remembered we have this glove here, so I think I'm gonna use the glove to see if I can twist this off. So we're gonna put the glove on, and then I don't know if I want to like. Ooh. Okay, I was a little hot, but if you use the glove, it's basically okay. Put that back in the box, and then I'm gonna use this one. And we're gonna lock that in place, and I'm gonna put the heat on one this time because I'm using less hair and we don't need it to be as hot. And these heat up really fast, so that is also nice. You don't have to sit around waiting forever like you know some of the old school ones you wait just ages. So with the hair I have left, I'm gonna kind of just like section this part out because this is what I'm gonna use for the smaller barrel, I think. And then this one is what I'm gonna use with this one. side of my head so we have a couple sections to work with over here and then the last one that we're gonna use is just this thinner one here and this one obviously starts wider here and it comes more narrow at the tip putting the glove on again to switch this out And I put this one on the first heat setting again because I don't need it as hot. I realized that two is probably too hot and my hair curls really easily, so no point in frying it. And this is already hot after being heated up for only like one second, so we love that. Let's see, so I'm gonna definitely leave that piece out. So we're gonna start here. Look how fast that curls, like that is so quick. And this piece actually looks like it wants to curl inwards, so we're gonna switch it up and curl this one inwards. Cause technically your curls will look more natural if you switch the curl direction, but I always forget to do that. And like I said, I like to just do this really messy because I feel like then it just looks the most natural and like you didn't really try that hard, which is how I like it. And again, we're gonna curl this last one inwards. Okay, and I'm just gonna flip my head and fluff it out just to get the curls, you know, nice and separated and more natural looking. So this is the final result and I'd probably put a little hair oil in it just to you know make it nice and shiny But I love the way this came out. I like all of the options too. I think my favorite is probably the bigger barrel That's just like the one that I usually use or the second size down from that But I'm really excited to test out how the one, the smaller ones work on my curly hair because I feel like that'll just give me like perfect curls Okay, so now you've seen what it looks like on straight hair, but let's switch to curly hair mode in three, two, one. Okay, so it is a few days later and this is my naturally curly hair. And I thought it'd be really fun to show you how you could also use the same hair tool just with the thinner heads if you have curly hair. So you know how it is if you're a curly girl, sometimes the curls just don't really want to perform the way that you had expected them to. Sometimes they're stringy, sometimes you know you have one piece of hair that just didn't curl. Curly hair is just always a challenge and the curl pattern is different every single time you wash your hair. So I thought it'd be fun to just show you how I would touch up some areas on my hair and use the uh, three extra heads that we didn't use in the straight hair portion. So let's get the ball rolling. So I think I'm going to start out with, again, the largest one 
because I have some curls that are you know, a little juicier, a little bigger. And I'm gonna put it on the lower setting, so notch one, because I really don't wanna be frying my hair. It has been getting a little damaged recently, and you know, that's not what we want. Okay, so you can see some of these like fuzzy pieces more like towards the crown of my head. That's kind of typical, that usually happens. For the bigger barrel, I think I'm gonna actually do these under pieces just because I can grab more hair all at once with this and I don't really care about these pieces as much because I don't really see them. So I'm just going to try and go in the direction that my curl pattern naturally wants to go. This one wants to go inwards. So there you can see is one little curl and I'm going to do a couple more under here with the same barrel. So I'm just going to grab this big chunk here wrap her around there you go you can see the nice little curl so that was just to show you kind of how if you have bigger curls like your curl patterns more loose you can use this size and you'll probably be okay now we're going to move on to this one which is the tapered one of, well, there are two tapered ones. You obviously saw me use the bigger tapered one in the straight hair portion, but this is the thinner one. This is more similar to like the curling one that I normally would use. So I know this one will definitely work. And then when we do the really like small pieces in the front, I'm gonna use the very thin one. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna focus more on these pieces on the crown of my head because they tend to just, you know, obviously get exposed to the most humidity and they frizz the easiest. So I'm gonna take the curling wand and I'm gonna wrap the hair all the way around. And because my hair is curly, it takes like literally one second and look how curly that is. So you can see how, and you can even like, if you didn't get the bottom properly, just go in and touch it up. So you can see how this obviously works really well if you also have naturally curly hair. Now, I don't think you actually need to ever turn this up to the second, like the number two on here because that is just so hot. And you can see how easily just having it on the first notch works on your hair. I just can't imagine anyone would need it any higher than this. It is so hot already. Like I'm getting like little perfect curls. And then we're just going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay. So that's just to kind of show you how you can use that one for tighter ringlets. And then for even tighter ringlets, we're going to use the skittiest one. And for this one, I think I'm just gonna focus on the bangs. And like you can see how perfect that works for that area. So I'm actually really impressed with this tool. I would have to give this probably like a 9 out of 10. My one complaint is it doesn't have like a little kickstand so that when you rest it on the table, like to prevent it from rolling around, it will kind of just roll around, which isn't the greatest, but everything else about this is perfect. I like how many different interchangeable heads there are. I travel a lot and I can't really be making space for multiple hair tools. So to be able to just bring one tool with several different interchangeable heads is gonna make my life so much easier. Um, so this will definitely be going in my suitcase with me to Greece um, and as well when I am going to America. Very excited about that. So that is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it useful. Maybe this will make your life easier as well. Again, I will link this down below in the description box for you. Got it off Amazon, very affordable and definitely works. Even when you're in Europe, all you have to do is use a little adapter and you're good to go. Have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you so much for watching.